Hello everyone, hope you're doing fine. This is Jordan from the Traders Terminal and in today's video we're going to talk about KiwiCat. First of all, you probably went through the disclaimer already, but let's mention it anyways. This is not a financial advice, it's just me sharing my opinion with you. Now, starting with the highest time frame, even though this setup is based on the lower time frames, but I always want to see what's happening on the higher time frames in order to get a better understanding of the bigger global picture. This is the most interesting part on this chart, in my opinion. At least this is a multi-year swing low. That happened in the 2020 uh, March, right? March 15, 2020 which gives it more than two years of value now, and we're currently testing this zone. In other words, what happened here is the price closed below it, two candles holding below it. Again, this is weekly chart, so that's two weeks. And now we're looking at a possible breakout above it. Since we're still in the middle of the week, we don't really know how this week is going to end, but the, um, the fact that the price is trying to push above this zone speaks for itself now on the other hand we know what usually happens near these multi-year swings if we look back on the chart okay and you can do that yourself but usually what happens spoiler alert here is that the price tends to bounce off of these levels so my expectation is that purely based on the weekly chart we're going to see some kind of bullish reaction I'm not talking about the reversal or anything, but bullish reaction, which could then lead for the price to continue lower or maybe entirely switch trend, right? But we're not really interested in that. We're interested in the very short term uh, and the possibilities that could be bringing this weak low. That's about weekly daily chart. We're going to cover very quickly because the sole purpose of week, uh, sorry, of daily chart in my analysis here is the divergence. Okay. That looks pretty decent. We can, of course, include the Elliott wave structure. Okay. And this Elliott wave structure broken down for the fifth leg is also showing us that we should be looking at possible bullish opportunities in this case. So this is what I think about daily. Once again, I'm looking at possible bullish moves and the four hour chart, which is the core of this setup plus one hour chart, but uh, I'm going to share that in a second. Now let's see what do we have here? Well, first of all, I do believe that we're looking at head and shoulders pattern, which is already giving us the signals of a breakout, the neckline, right? Breakout of the neckline, let me just make sure that i'm drawing it correctly so those are the levels so far being respected we have the angle to the upside and this is where the price managed to break above now the only thing i don't like in this setup is the fact that this breakout was immediately pushed to the downside and uh, we don't have the upward slope on the mas okay that's the sole reason why I'm not already involved in buys right here. Again, this is not a financial advice, but what I'm going to do here is instead of jumping in here or here somewhere, I will be waiting for this high to be broken. Okay. I will be giving away a few pips from the actual trend line break. Let's call them 10 pips. Okay from this breakout zone, but uh, I just want to make sure that if this is going to be an actual breakout, we start making another high here. And again, this is my concern right there. The projection based on this is measured like this, as you probably know, and then we take that and we drop it where the breakout is happening. And that gives us approximately 82.20, or 82.20 zone. Now let's talk levels. And for the levels, I usually use the Spotlight platform, but before we go to the levels, let's see if I can find it, this one. All right. 
if we can get the extra confirmation, and in fact, we do. Now, look what's happening here. The short term already switched, and it is suggesting that we should be looking for buys. Mid term is saying that we are looking at possible bullish reversal taking place. Now, the combination of all the time frames from short term to mid term is starting from daily going down to the 15 minute chart. Of course, the longer term, which is the combo of these time frames, is still lagging behind, which is perfectly fine. But what we're interested in is actually the levels from the mid term. Now, look what's happening here. The first zone that we need to pay very close attention is this one. Why? Because this is where the supply demand is showing us the largest and the strongest level. And this is approximately 081.30 down to 081. We also have monthly pivot and we have weekly resistance to here, which makes this zone extremely strong and important. In other words, what could be happening is if the price starts breaking to the upside, there could be and will likely be a reaction around this zone here, okay? Now, this could be an opportunity for an add-on trade if things line up there and we could be adding more, for example, right? But even if you're not adding to, to the original position, just keep in mind that you might be looking at um, pullbacks, consolidations around this place. The next zone, super important level, that is on the way is right here. We can see this is the next level and that next level is at 8 to 56 down to 8 to 27 along with the buffer zone below it which is this one that starts from 81 90 let's call it an even 82 this is also where the next monthly pivot sits and basically this is going to be the second level of importance if you remember we already measured let's do it again very quickly the projection which gave us approximately this and that sits right in that level okay so things start to line up uh, especially for the final target and that looks pretty decent now the next thing that i would like to mention here as i uh, said before is the one hour chart and on the one hour chart look what do we have we already have an impulsive structure followed by abc and then immediate push to the upside okay with a breakout that looks absolutely fantastic and this is why i said that being already in a trade makes sense but i'm going to do it one step um further in terms of confirmation and waiting for this pullback on the other hand if the price starts going into consolidation right here as an alternative to everything that we said and probably a bit more aggressive uh, we'll be to look for bullish opportunities in this zone right here why this zone because this is where you get weekly pivots this is where you get the swings this is where you get this consolidation zone which for some reason stopped here and reverse right so pretty much this is a level this is the 79 80 level or so and slightly below it okay um on the other hand you have this right here from the supply demand so is the entire zone but this is pretty much the bottom of it so if this thing starts pushing lower, which is, in my opinion, less likely, but if it starts pushing lower, that could be one of the zones to look for aggressive entry, okay, from a better price, and then this thing to push up. And as an alternative, as I mentioned already multiple times, the breakout of the newly formed high. So that would be all, guys. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Drop a comment here or find me in telegram either way i'm looking forward to talk to you and if not i wish you a pleasant week ahead thank you